up guys, Sean here, aka I'm a flying midget. Welcome back to some more Theme Park Tycoon, guys. First off, before we get into this video, check out this swag new shirt, baby. Swag new shirt. Okay, so it is kicking off the fact that my webcam background is the galaxy, baby. We are the guardian of the galaxy, aka midget Groot or so I don't know but anyway yeah I got a I got a new shirt guys in case you want to get it um I got this one and I've got uh, kind of the one I'm wearing today but uh, this design on the galaxy um kind of background so if you guys want one of those shirts go to my fan group I'm um, also linked the shirts in the description of this video you guys can check them out and uh, get yourself one of these these shirts are only going to be uh for sale guys uh when I have my webcam background like this so um could be two months could be Two weeks could be, I mean, we don't know. We don't know how long I'm going to have this webcam background. But anyway, um, Theme Park Tycoon got a big update. Well, not a big update, but a good size update. Um, which is cool because we're going to dive in and do some fun stuff today. But yeah, so let me show you guys a little bit of the updates. Um, Glitch is building like a massive, massive, massive tower right there. Like absolutely massive tower. Um, and, uh, so yeah, so he's kind of going, going to work on that. We're going to be doing some, uh, some new stuff today, but I forgot to pull up the, the comment for the, for the winning comment of the teacup, so I'll be right back. Alright, I got her pulled up, ladies and gentlemen. This one had some really good ones, like, this one was a really good, uh, kind of naming, kind of a little scheme that you guys had going on. A lot of you guys had some good ones, like, there was a lot of British people, I can tell, because they were doing a lot of, like, cup of teas and, and, uh, and, like, Cineac, Strock, cup of tea or whatever, but there was a lot of, a lot of things with tea, but you know me, Mr. Murakano. Um, so, you know, I decided to go with uh, Bobby's comment, which was name of team cups, melting cups, because they're above lava and they melt. I thought that was just a really good, generic, kind of cool one. Uh, that kind of just, you know, it, it is what it is. I mean, they are the melting cups, you know what I mean? They are the melting cups. So we're going to go ahead and just do melting cups there. Um, and a good doink. There we go. So I think that, uh, that actually turned out pretty solid. This area obviously is not done. We didn't really work on this whole lot. Glitch is going ham on this tower, though. Like, absolutely ham on this thing it's going insane um now this uh this monorail is still testing because we haven't done the um we haven't done these kind of things over there in those two areas just yet um so we're kind of waiting on that i kind of wanted to um to show you guys some of the new stuff we got in theme park tycoon day which is going to be pretty sweet we're going to be adding in one of the, at least one of the rides and maybe we even get to kind of working on this inverted coaster today i don't really know we'll see our, our park is still like a two star it's ridiculous but look at this i, I don't know if you guys noticed this but check this out when um when, when people come into the park, hold on, I'll show you guys when someone comes into the park. When they come into the park, it, like, shows you when people spend money now, which is which is pretty crazy. But hopefully we'll get someone to come into my park, please. We're at 50 guests right now. Come on. Anyone want to come into, into my park? I mean, three people left. I guess we don't. I guess, okay. okay. Can I come into my park? No, I'm just kidding. Can we get one person to walk in there? Well, well Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'll give it like two more seconds. If not, but pretty much, guys, um, what happens is like there's this little kind of um, animation thing that goes off of like kind of like, oh, here we go, here we go. So like it's them paying their entry fee. Bam, and you get money. So I think that's kind of cool. I don't know if that's like that for every ride or everything that basically costs money. I don't really know. Let's see if this guy will like pay money when he goes in here. I don't really know. Um... So let's see if we let's see if we get that. But for the rides, guys, there's some new rides we got. Um, as for the intense rides, we got this launched. Um, what is it called? The launched free. I can't even see it. Launched. Wait, what is it? It's a launch free fall. It's really. It's just a massive drop tower. Is what it pretty much looks like. Um, oh, do th those people pay? I don't really see them, the animation going off of there, but um, but yeah, so it's just a really massive tower. I think it's a massive drop tower. It's pretty much what it is, I think. Um, roller coasters, I think we all, those are all, I think we've all had. Water rides, this one we're going to be kind of putting in first today, and it's a swan boat. So we got like a, a new kind of water ride that's free, um, that's like free custom track. So I'm excited to get into that. We're going to get into that today. No more um, transportation rides, but there's also, hold on, there's also, we'll go into scenery here, and we'll go into D U. Okay, check this out. We got ducks, mega ducks, and we got two locked ones. I don't know how we get those, but you got a mega duck and you got a regular duck. So I'm excited. We might be, might be able to put those in with this new ride um, and stuff like that. So, all right, we're going to do this new ride. I'm going to jump in, even though it's probably going to glitch me out. Yep, glitched me out. Come on, R15 movement. You, you can't come, come on. Come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. You gotta, like, walk in. It's stupid. Anyway, uh, so let's get out of here. I was thinking about moving the, the Nautic Jet over one, 
um, like kind of moving it and like rotating it that way to give us more space over here because we don't really have a lot of water in our volcano themed park. But that's right, we'll uh, we'll, we'll manage here. We'll manage here just fine. Cause I got an idea. We're gonna go through the mountain in this, um, which is gonna be pretty sick. Also, I forgot to mention. Um, if you guys wait to the end of the video, we will be naming a new ride today, of course. Uh, so I was thinking, you know, we don't want to mess up with this slide. So the slide kind of goes this way, our, our ice cannon slides comes this way and falls out that way, but we want to go through the mountain with this, so first off, we got to figure out where these people are going to be getting into this, um, into this ride, so my idea was there's this kind of walk down area up here, I'm going to, we're going to try to punch a hole through this mountain right here to kind of give the, um, the little, the little, uh, kind of cue path and, and entrances and exits, but we'll see. Not sure if we're going to be able to make this happen, but I, I just kind of thought it'd be really cool. So there's this little, remember this little thing that goes to nowhere over here? This can go through the mountain uh, to the next ride. So this guy right here, um, we should just be able to just uh, punch a hole in this mountain. I don't know where it's going to come out, but we should be able to just punch a hole. So let me just, oh, there we go. And let me just, oh, there we go, right here. Okay, so this isn't like terrible. It's not bad, although we're probably going to need to move it like over here somewhere. So... Um, let's see, this guy goes down, we can just, we can, we can do one of these, we can go rock, we can cover this bad boy up, there we go, gonna get real dark in here, and then we'll remove air and go alongside this way, and hopefully that will be good, hopefully this will be pretty solid, and we're gonna have to go down, we're gonna need to go down a little bit more, so we're gonna go like this, uh, maybe right here will be good, let's see, where are we at? Uh, we need to go over a little bit more, and should we go, no, this is about as, this is as low as we need to get though, so that's good. Alright, so we're gonna just, we're gonna continue this little hole here, let me cover that up, okay. We're gonna continue this hole, probably like two more, uh, maybe one more, we'll go, we'll go to here. Okay, there we go, alright, so that's gonna take us all the way to there, so then we can do like two right here, an entrance and an exit, and I don't really know how we're gonna do the queue pack, but we should be able to figure it out, let's see. Um, I don't really like messing with that, so we're gonna go ahead and go rock right there, and then um, edit terrain height and do one of, whoop, and do one of these guys. Bam. Okay. So that's not that's not like bad, right? I mean, that's not it's not terrible. I, I kind of like that little area. We're gonna probably have to remove these, so I get rid of that. And actually, we could have left that one, but I think that looks fine just like that. Okay. Cool. So there's our little kind of walkway. Let's get a little lighting in here just so it's not super dark for this video because I want you guys to be able to see. So let's go ahead and just do light. Oh. Uh, good thing I can't spell light. Good thing I can't spell light. Um, should we just do an orb? I think what I'm gonna do is I just wanna do these guys right here. Just kinda place some of these guys in here so we have a little bit of light. Um, I guess we could just do that and that. Okay. Alright, so we got some, we got some light in here. We'll go one more, one more. There, there we go, there we go, okay. Alright, we got light in here. Let's continue this path all the way down. And I think that this is gonna be pretty good. It's really hard. So the thing that I've mentioned it before is, um, is Dennis keeps adding in, um, you know, more stuff into the game, which is awesome. I love it when new stuff gets into the game, especially when there's ducks and other things like this. Like, that's actually really cool. Um, but the problem with that is our plots aren't getting bigger in this game. So you, you're, you're starting to have to get pretty creative with how you kind of place rides and place stuff because, uh, you know, it's got, all, it's got all fit pretty much. It's got all fit. So, um, okay, if we do that and then we do a cue path right here and make this kind of come outwards a little bit, I think we'll be good, so if we do, but then we're gonna have to make the track, alright, let's just, let's make the ride first, let's go ahead and make the ride, um, so let's go ahead and, antenna you know, water rides, let's go ahead and do this thing, um, and we, we might be able to even wrap it around so the entrance is over there, um, I think that that might be our best bet, we'll have to see, but first off, let's just go ahead and do that, okay, whoa, okay, so I, I've, I have no idea what this ride is gonna look like, so we're gonna just do three, I'm gonna do a hard right turn, I like that, and we're gonna go into that mountain. So that, if you guys didn't, if I didn't say that, we're gonna go into this mountain, um, and then that's gonna give us a little bit more room. And it's basically just gonna go through this mountain. Hopefully, we're gonna have enough room because I know there's already the the monorail over there. I know there's already lots of stuff, so it's gonna be tough. But um, but I think we can I think we can manage. Um, and we might even be able to go maybe underwater right here. I'm thinking maybe if we go kind of this way down and we go down like really, oh no, because that's gonna totally hit the uh, the monorail. Um, let's see, we can go, we can do like an underground little tunnel, even though we don't really have much room to work with, but we could do it through that area, so we could have it go this way, loop around, go underground in a little tunnel, basically underwater all through right here, come out underneath this way, and come, I, oh wow, this is gonna be tough, this, we could make it go underground all the way that way, yeah, all the way this way, follow this little path right here, come resurface in this area and come and connect like that 
I think that's gonna be our best bet. So let's go ahead and just let's let's go ahead and pave the way here. We're gonna have to go ahead and, and pave this. So let's just Oh there we go. We're swimming. Okay. So I don't know. Again, I don't know what this ride is gonna look like. So hopefully we'll be able to finish this today. Let's go block manipulation. Let's go ahead and remove air. Uh remove air. We'll just let's make our little tunnel first. So let's go ahead and get me out of this thing. Um so we're gonna need to start going down, which is gonna we're totally gonna hit the monorail, and I hate when this happens. Um, let's see, do we haven't hit it yet. Wow, okay. Okay, so we need to go down, 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 down. Can I go down again? What is that? Why did that look weird? Okay, so this is as low as we can go, okay. So then we're gonna need a turn. So let's go ahead and, and try to open this up, like this. And I don't know how tight we're gonna be able to turn, but, um, can I go up? Where's the monorail, man? Maybe we didn't, we didn't need to go deep enough. That was cool. Wow, this might actually work out. And if we can go back this way, um, I'm hoping we can do that. I don't know if this all needs to be in water, though. I'm assuming it does, which is going to be really, really, really hard. Um, really, really, really hard. So let's go ahead and drop that. Let's go ahead and drop that. And we might need to drain this area, but we might not be able to because of the nautique. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a little bit annoying. It's actually going to be really annoying. Uh, we, sh we need to kind of separate these. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do edit terrain height, and hopefully we can kind of Get our camera angle in here, maybe. Okay, we're going to go in the water. This is going to be tough, dudes. I didn't realize how hard this might actually be. Um, let's see. Can, should I just... I can't really drain it, though, because of that ride. And I don't know if the log flume... It might not... I, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how... We might have to just remove the, uh, the nautic... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And... Oh. There we go. Okay. So we might be able to make this work. I don't know. It's gonna be it's gonna be really interesting here. This is so hard. That's why you gotta like plan out all your rides before you put in the water because it's just annoying. Let's see. Can we can we get into you? There we go. Come on up. Come on up. There we go. Okay. Blocking that off. Um. Oh, not that. And oh oh oh. Yeah. There we go. Okay. So okay. So we got that uh, rocking pretty solid. We're gonna need to pretty much block this entire ride off though, huh? Gosh dang it, man. This is. Well, this is why I hate water in Theme Park Tycoon. I mean, it is a pain in the butt, dudes. If you guys watched my last park, the last park that I built, oh my gosh, I wanted to kill myself when we were doing that, that, uh, that, that water area. I mean, it is just, it is so hard. It is so hard to do. Okay. I, I also don't think you can do corners, so we need to block this up, um, which is going to be kind of hard to do. There we go. Did I nail it? Nope. Um, this is gonna be tough. Okay, you know what? Let's just go ahead and do block manipulation. Give me the granite. We're going for a swim, boys. We're going for a swim. Um, if we can maybe get our camera angle to, to function for us. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Boom. 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 Okay, there we go. All right, there we go. So that should... Oh, now we're stuck. Perfect. I love this. I love this. Gosh dang it. This is my... This might be way harder than I, I initially thought, dudes. We might have to, uh... I might have to do a little cut and, and do do a lot of work so you guys can actually see this ride in action today. I don't know. We're going to see. We're going to see right now. We're going to find out right now. So, if I drain this, I might have to I might have to get rid of this this park or the, this ride, I mean. Okay, water, remove water. Let's see. <sighs> remove it. So, I have to remove the ride first. Okay, that's fine. So, let's just remove the ride. Confirm. Okay, and then we're going to move this terrain down one. Okay, so we need to get rid of the water first. Totally forgot to get rid of the water. Okay, water is donezo. Okay, water's donezo there. Block manipulation. Now we can we can work our water kind of down into this area. Okay, I think that this might work, dudes. This might work. So, but but the thing is, I really should just drain this whole area out here. Because I'm going to have to make a tunnel, and that's going to be, like, nearly impossible. Let's see. Let's see if we can make it happen. If not, I'm, I'll just cut. I'll do this. I'll do a little behind-the-scenes kind of kind of work let's see yeah so i can't remove that because i got to remove the water out there first so um it's gonna come out right here so if i just do granite and uh actually let's do edit terrain height we'll go up one and we'll go just like that okay all right so that should be good if we go block manipulation and remove these oh no but there's still water on this side see this is the oh maybe not maybe not maybe not hold on no there is gosh dang it Gosh, freaking dang it, man. Uh, can we... Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Come on, one more. Come on, give me, give me back there. Give me back. There. Oh. Got it. Got it. And full send. Okay. All right, so now we should be able to do this. Remove this, remove this, remove this. And remove it one more. Remove it one more. Okay, so we can't do that one. Wait, what? 
How can we not do that one? Because there's water. How did I miss a block? Are you serious? Are you are you serious? Oh no, it's the corners. I think. No, 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 wait. Not corner right there. Corner right here. No, what? I totally covered my bases on this one. I'm not removing this ride because that one is a pain in the butt. Let's see. Can I remove this? No. Can I just drain it like one layer? I don't even think I can do that. No, man, because the Nautique... I'm telling you, this is why it's just a huge struggle, dudes. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do a little background work, figuring out this whole water thing, and I'll be back when I kind of got the path kind of lined out, and you guys can see what I did. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I finally figured this thing out. It was the biggest pain in the freaking booty ever. You have no idea. First off, I tried to make it go so it goes down there, and then kind of like underneath this whole thing, and kind of around there, and then come back up that way. This swan ride doesn't go up or down, and I didn't realize that until I, like, finally got the water figured out. It was honestly insane. You have no idea. I was literally trying to make it go down and up, and it doesn't go down and up. The swan ride literally stays at the same level, and that's all it does. And I haven't even put this in testing mode and see if this actually, you know, kind of goes and works. I'm assuming it does. But what I had to do is basically cut a hole in the mountain, make it go kind of around this way, and I think we still got to kind of clean up this mountain just a little bit, so I'm going to kind of swim over here, but basically it kind of went all the way around here, um, and I'm going to decorate this, don't worry, I'm going to decorate this, but first let's go ahead and clean this up with some terrain. Um, actually, we might want to kind of leave that there as we kind of add in some decoration, I don't know, swan ride's supposed to be like some love ride, so maybe we'll kind of add in like some hearts or some 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 coloring in here that would make it kind of look a little, a little more like love, like if I do like, if I go in here and kind of go over here and do light and I can get these ceiling lights here and we can just do something like or actually those are actually really big I didn't realize that we could do just some light orbs um I don't really know yet how I want to do this I and mean, we could also add in there's there's tons of options we could add in obviously just like some some lantern wall things um and color those up or, or however I mean honestly there's so many different things I can do spotlights I mean I can do literally anything in here um uh, but basically we're just gonna try to make it kind of like it whoop kind of make it kind of like a um uh, kind of like like a love kind of thing because you know the swans and everything and I don't really know if, if, what we're gonna add in just yet Maybe some massive kind of light orbs. I don't know. I literally don't know. Maybe some tiny little ceiling thingies I don't know yet. Um, I could add just in like one of these right now We're gonna obviously change. Oh, so I can't I can't do them up above so they're gonna have to go over here Okay, or honestly, I feel like at that point we might just want to just do some of these guys um, And can I color these I hope these are the ones that I can color so I cannot color these ones. I hate these ones. Why are these ones even in the game? Why can't you color these? I don't understand it. I don't I don't understand it. But let's go get some whoop, let's go get some what did I just do? Uh search. There we go. Let's go ahead and do some sort of lighting in here. Um just just before we ride this thing. We can just add in some of these little light orbs, I feel like is what we're probably gonna do. Um light. Or we could uh I think lanterns if these no. I hate these things. I hate these things. Um I think there's like one other lantern though that you can change the color of these guys right here So we can just add in some of these right now and just do that and that okay And these ones like pretty sure you can change the color of yeah So if I come in here and just do like a little like a ooh like a really I kind of want it to be a lot lighter than that Kind of like something like that and again we're going to change the terrain around this to make it look a lot better But um but yeah something like that's kind of give off like a kind of love feel I guess I don't really know um, and then I just want to kind of grab you and go like something right here. I don't know. I don't know. Do a little something, something like that. I guess something, something, a little something, something. But yeah, and then we can obviously make the, the ceiling a little bit higher too to add in some lights. I don't know yet. I haven't really decided to decorate it. You have no idea how long I've been sitting here trying to get this thing, whoop, trying to get this thing to actually work. It's been a huge pain. I've been sitting here for like at least an hour trying to get this thing to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in testing mode and. Um, and hopefully it's like hopefully it's like legit. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and pop this bad boy in testing mode. I want to F to use this. See, this is where you just take your little ride with your lover. All right. Wow. Holy cow. That was that was insane. How long that actually took me to, to figure it out. I mean, it was it was nuts. But I think it's gonna be worth it. It's kind of a cool ride. Um, now that I kind of know the purpose of it. When I first thought of Swans, I just I didn't even think of it as being like the love ride. I don't know why, but I didn't think of it as that. And I thought like, oh, we can make a really cool thing going in a tunnel and making this really aggressive ride. But you want it to be really slow like this, and you want it to kind of be scenery around you. You know, instead of like actually making it a fun ride, you want the scenery around to be, to be really cool, which I haven't added in yet, obviously. But I finally got the track to actually fit in here, which is a huge pain. I had to drain this thing so many times. I need to like redecorate this area now. 
but at least it works at least it fits at least everything is solid like that um so that's kind of the ride if, you, if that that's one of the new rides we finally got got working in here and it was tough because this area is not very big and we weren't going to be able to add in more water in this park because it is a lava park so this is the very little water we, we were able to add and we had to fit all the water rides in there but it actually worked um, and, it, and it's kind of perfect, honestly. It actually worked out perfectly because this ride goes in a tunnel, which is basically perfect for swans because you want your own privacy. Um, and it goes in a little tunnel, and, you know, you kind of will decorate that up. And then uh, comes out this back way and connects up. And it's honestly perfect, and it fits in here pretty nicely. Um, and, and, it, and it works. It works. So, like, that's that's a plus. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in open see if we can get some, some people riding this thing. But, yeah, dudes, holy cow. That took me forever to name. Um... It took me so long that Glitch actually finished this tower over here. So I'm going to do lots of building days. See, he knows we, we've we been on here forever. Um, he finished this tower, which is actually really sick. It's kind of like a rundown little radio tower, I think, is what he was going for. Um, so that's sick. It looks sick. Let's go in here and kind of tour this thing a little bit. Um, and we will be naming a ride today, so don't worry about that. We will be naming a ride. But this thing is actually sick. Oh, lava down below. Heck freaking yeah, Glitch. This thing is epic, my man. This thing looks sick. And then I don't know if we're going to make it all the way up to the top. So we should probably just not even try to climb this thing. But that looks sick. That, that looks that looks well freaking made, dude. Holy cow. That is awesome. I actually think that that looks sick. That's one of my favorite parts of the park right now. For sure. Holy cow. I mean, obviously, and, and, and of course, the melting cups. 10 out of 10 on that. Uh, but holy cow, that looks here. We didn't really quite get to this ride today. But we are going to be naming a ride today. So why don't we go ahead and um, imagine that there's a sign right here. Okay, there might actually be, no, yeah, imagine there's a sign right here on the multi-launch. I'm going to go ahead and just copy this guy right here and place him. I mean, this is probably going to change, but place him right there and then go ahead and come in here and go need name. So why don't you guys go ahead and comment down below uh, some names for uh, for this epic kind of um, uh, multi-launch coaster that kind of goes up into this like abandoned kind of tower thing that was run down because of the lava. The lava kind of crushed it and everything, but it is sick. It looks awesome. That honestly looks like a little radio antenna that comes out and then the ride comes out of it. Sick! Gosh, this is so cool. This park is turning out to be really, really, really awesome. It's taking us a little bit of time, but the, 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 the areas that are done are really detailed and really awesome. So, yeah, come up with a name for this ride right here, this multi-launch coaster, going up into this epic tower where there's the lava and everything down below, and I think it's really cool. So, um, yeah, so yeah, dudes, that is going to, I think that's going to do it for today. Again, uh, check the description if you guys want to get yourself one of these Galaxy t-shirts. Um, again, there is also one with this design right here, uh, so uh, so if you want to get that one as well. But yeah, dudes, that is going to do it for today. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button, guys. Holy cow, this one took me forever, but smash that like button. And until next time, guys, if you haven't already, make sure you be fly and subscribe.